رادیو ایران 607 دکتر علی اسدی رو هم که معرف حضورتون هست شهدا جان محبت کردن زندگی نامه ایشون و رزومه کارشون رو گفتن توجه بفرمایید به فرمایشات ایشون آه. خیلی خوش آمدید آقای دکتر مرسی خیلی ممنون درود بر شما عزیزان قرار شد انگلیسی صحبت کنیم بنابراین حوض خواهی میکنم از کسانی که میگن فارسی اگه میخواین اینجا بیزینس کنین خیلی بهتره که انگلیسی چیز کنین که چون ترمینالوجی از انگلیش Okay. Hi everyone and welcome to our event. First and foremost, I would like to thank uh, iranianhotline.com, Radio 67E and Eretz Cultural Center. Especially let me thank Ariza Hikmatyar Aziz uh, for inviting me. Today we are going to talk about business success in the age of artificial intelligence. So, let's look at the Current business situation, inflation, or uncertainty, staffing is difficult, knowledgeable customers, and borrowing money. First of all, in today's business environment, customers are more knowledgeable than before. They can learn about your products or services by reading the reviews that former customers have written about you. They can share about their experiences through social networks. So customers are more knowledgeable than before, and they have a lot of options. So there is no secure business anymore. Sure. OK. So staffing is still one of the main issues, especially in some industries, such as medical field. Based on some studies, wrong employees can cost you seven to 15 times of their salaries. So, in some industries like healthcare, because hospitals pay more, it's very difficult to hire good employees and keep them. In some industries, it's easier. Uh, inflation is still one of the main issues. Last month, the inflation rate was 4%. It was better than last year, but it's still an issue. Borrowing money is much more difficult. That's one of the things that usually the Federal Bank Reserve does. When inflation is high, they try to make it more strict to borrow money. So borrowing money, getting loan is much more difficult than before. And uncertainty. You may have heard a lot that we are going to have a recession next year, another year, this year. So. That makes kind of people indecisive to do businesses or to invest. And the most important thing, artificial intelligence is so booming. Everyone talks about it. So the main concern based on different surveys is inflation. CNBC surveyed. 2,000 businesses nationwide, and most of them mentioned that inflation and business expenses is their main concern. So let's look at uh, a website. That's a good website from the Department of Labor. We can see how inflation affects our lives. Uh, okay. We forgot to connect it to the internet. <laughs> okay. What's the Wi Fi? So, doesn't matter. So, inflation is still one of the main issues. So, the 
The main causes of business failure. Most people think the main causes of business failure is first, lack of having enough customers. Second, since you don't have enough customers and your expenses are high, you don't have enough uh, profit, and then you are out of business. That's what most people think. But the real reasons are not these. To have a more to have a successful business, a small business, you need to be a good technician. That means you need to have a knowledge of the industry you work in it. If you're a physician, you must be a very knowledgeable physician. If you're a plumber, you must be a very qualified plumber. So, but is it enough? No. If you're a good physician, can you ma manage an office? No. You need to learn about, and you need to know management. You need to know how to hire people, how to market your business. I've seen in many places that business owners have high technician, technic, technical knowledge, but they don't know how to manage their businesses. That's why they go out of business. And the other thing, entrepreneurship knowledge. You need to be able to expand your businesses. You need to be able to innovate, have innovation. We studied many small businesses, and we found out that one of the main causes of business failure is lack of innovation. Innovation doesn't mean that you invent new products or services. Even the way you talk to people, the way you hire people, the way you promote yourself, the way you uh, treat your customers, these are all innovations. So innovation is extremely important. And I'm sure with new tools and techniques, with artificial intelligence, you can improve your innovation. And the other thing is personal life issues. That's one of the main differences between large corporations and small businesses. The role of a small business owners. If you are not healthy, it may affect your business. It may affect your business decisions. If you are in a problematic relationship, it may affect your business. In large corporations, usually decisions are made by a board of directors, not just one person. But in, a small business, in a small businesses, the role of business owners is extremely important. So you need to take care of your health. That's extremely important. It affects your decisions, and you need to be a knowledgeable person. If you don't have management or entrepreneurship knowledge, you need to hire a business consultant. You need to get help. With just technical knowledge, you cannot be successful in your business. In today's highly competitive business environment, it's a very fast-paced fast environment. So, warning signs that your business is in trouble. Decline in revenue by 10% or more. Decreasing profit margin by 5% or more. Cash flow problems by 10% or more. Cash flow is extremely important. The amount of cash that comes and goes from your business. Cash is gold, keep in mind. High employee turnover by 15 or 20%. If you cannot keep good employees, you will lose them. And employees are one of the most important assets of your business. Declining customer base by 10%. It has been proven that getting a new customers, a new customer costs you eight times more than keeping your current customer. So it's extremely important to take care of your current customers. Don't take them for granted. Customer service is extremely important. Keeping your relationship with them. As I said, they have a lot of options. So an increasing customer complaints by 20%. These days, as I mentioned, people can go and read the reviews that your former customers have written about you. So even one bad review may make them stay away from working with you. 
And those review websites are also very important because you can read reviews that your competition's customers have written about them and learn about the strengths and weaknesses of your competitors. So, what's the solution? First, you need to find a pain to solve it, to solve the issue. Or you need to create an excitement for customers. But keep in mind, in old days, people used to make product or services, then search for customers. Today, you need to find customers first, then go and build and make your products or services. Do not spend money and make starting a business if you, do, you are not sure about your customers. You need to do market research. You need to have a business plan, marketing plan. That's extremely important. So, find pain or so you can solve the issue or create an excitement. And find people that see value in what you offer. I may offer you a lot of good things, but if you don't care about it or you don't see value in it, I'm, I'm not going to go anywhere, right? So it's very important people understand the value of you, what you provide to them. Availability. That's very important. Your customers must be available. You're not going to find them in other continents if you have a local business. Right? Or if you can use e-commerce, that's another scenario. So, and growing. Your market must grow. Just imagine that I invest in a newspaper, you know, industry. And I made money. The industry is declining. Most people, they just get news through online platforms. Just, right? How many people do you know that they just purchased, you know, newspapers? So, the business you invest in must grow. That's very important. So, do you guys know about Abraham Maslow? Hierarchy of needs. Abraham Maslow was a psychologist in 1950s, and he came up with this uh, hierarchy of needs. This pyramid says that people's needs are like this. The first need is physiological, then safety, love and belonging, esteem, and self-actualization. So in general, if you don't satisfy your physiological needs, you cannot think about love or self-esteem. That's why in, you know, some governments take advantage of it. Just keep people in that level so they cannot think about other important matters. So, we can use the same pyramid for business success. In survival level, most businesses, they just try to distinguish fires. They just try to do daily activities. They may do the same thing in different ways. They, there is no routine. There is no process. So, and when I talk to those people, they said, I have, you know, we have 25 years experience. But when I analyze their businesses, I see they did the wrong thing 25 times. So, that's not, you know, experience. So, the first thing is survival. The second step is those businesses, they try to create routine and uh, working procedures. The third tier is improvement focused. If you get to that level, you try to improve your business procedures. And the fourth one is then you have competitive advantage over your competitors. 
as Mario said, differentiation is extremely important. People have a lot of options. So what's the difference between you and your competitors? And the top of the pyramid is when you become an industry leader. So just look at your business. In which tier are you? Are you in survival? Are you in routine focus? Are you in improvement, competitive, or industry leader? That's very important. And so, as we mentioned, a key element of professional success is differentiation. So, just think about it. Who are your customers? What does frustrate them? Are your customers willing to pay, available, and growing? And how can you differentiate yourself? If you have a business or if you want to start a business, ask yourself these questions. So, and developing a business system is one of the most important things that you need to do if you want to have a successful business. Business system is an organized way to do your business. And I'm going to talk to you more in details later. But now, let's look at artificial intelligence. So just give me a second so I can connect to the internet because I'm going to show you different applications. It's very interesting. I'm, we are going to try different interesting things together. So artificial intelligence represent machines and systems that mimic human intelligence accomplishing tasks that were once exclusive to us. So, as it says, artificial intelligence tries to do something that in old days human was the only things that was able to do that. Now we are going to use... No? So, so, let's look at the uh, components of artificial intelligence. One of the first one, one of the first components of artificial intelligence is machine learning. Then you teach computers and systems how to analyze data, how to use algorithms. So that's one of the main steps. به چند پیام بازرگانی توجه I can answer questions if you have any questions. Yeah. So all Sure. Like, uh, Mm -hmm. They prefer to take care of children themselves. Yeah. Okay, definitely. You need to work on some factors. For example, peace of mind. You know, 
having kind of uh, creating community with other children, interactions with other children. These are important things that children cannot learn at home. So you need to focus on the skills. Sorry, you want to try? Sure. Sure, hold on, hold on. Okay, you want this slide? Yes. Okay, sure. Sure. No, not these slides. No. That's why I want you guys to listen to it. <laughs> so, no worries. Just email me. I will share with you my materials as well. No worries. Yeah, at the end of the seminar, I will share my email address with you. Just send me an email. I will share with you. No worries. Okay, you're so welcome. So, the second component of uh, okay, let me see. Okay, perfect. So, the second component of artificial intelligence is natural language principles. When the systems learn to interact with human, translate your voice to commands, translate your text to different things. So, that's another section. Another component is visual perception. As you see here, this is what we do naturally, but this is what artificial intelligence can do. They can, you give them one image, they can generate other images. They can create cartoons based on the image that you provided for them. So that's another thing. And the last but not the least, neutral, neural network. Not neutral, neural. Neural network. The way that it's exactly like, you know, the nerves in our brain. The way that uh, they transfer, you know, commands and interacts with you is exact, exactly through neural networks. So, I don't want to make it very complicated, but the most important thing in artificial intelligence is input. So, whatever you give them, based on that, they try to, and based on the algorithms and different things that you define for them, they try to analyze and get it back to you. So, the input is very important. So in some industries, like real estate, we know that chat GPT or other, uh, you know, or auto GPT or other similar platforms, they cannot uh, give you precise information. Why? Can anyone tell me why? For example, in real estate, you cannot just count and is it a good property to purchase or not? Why? It's so why can't we trust on artificial intelligence? Because they get the info from Zillow, from Redfin, and the internet. And the information in, on the internet is not reliable. We know that Redfin, Zillow, they don't get supervised. So that's why you cannot count on artificial intelligence as well to make decisions in real estate purchasing. So that's an important thing. Keep in mind, input is very important. And then, based on that, for example, some platforms like ChatGPT, they cannot forecast. They, whatever they have is by the end of 2021. AutoGPT, 
they may do more researches for you or Google Bard, they may do more activities. But at the end of the day, keep in mind, the input is very important. Do not rely 100% on them and be creative if you want to use them. So, now we are going to look at some tools that uh, I'm going to share with you some We are going to see what we can do with these platforms. So, let's look at the first one, which is ChatGPT. Okay. So, for example, I have created some prompt. Whenever you're going to Whenever you're going to give an order to these applications or these platforms, we call the order prompt. So, let me show you some interesting prompt that I created. I said Radio 670 is the most well-known Persian media in Southern California in which 500,000 Persian people live. So, create 20 short reasons why people should advertise their businesses with this radio. Put it in a table with two columns. In the first column, put the number order of the reason, and for, for example, reason one, reason two, and in the second column, put out the actual reason. So let's see what it's gonna do for us. So where was it? Mm -hmm. Okay, see? Reason one, reach a large Persian audience of 500,000 people in Southern California. Reason two, target a specific and highly engaged Persian community. Reason three, increase brand visibility among Persian individuals in the region. So, it's interesting, isn't it? So, it created 20 reasons. And I can make a copy of all these. and go to Canva and create 20 Instagram posts like this. So that's very in interesting, right? The other thing, the other prompt, act as a human resource manager, write a very impressive job ad for an executive assistant for a surgical center in Beverly Hills. Hours are from 9 to 5, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. The salary is $22 per hour with the competitive bonuses and healthcare insurance. So let's see. Copy. So it created the job at in a couple of seconds. Isn't it perfect? It can save a lot of can save a lot of time. All right? Yes. So another thing I this is very good for you guys. I, at, I attended a business success seminar on June 28. I met some people and exchanged business cards, write a follow-up email, and request to meet everyone in person. See? Copy. See, does everything. 
I hope this email. My name is blah blah, and we had a pleasure. We had a pleasure meeting at the Business Success Seminar, June 28. I went in to reach out and express my gratitude. Blah. So, it's extremely helpful if you use it effectively. Another thing, even you can use it for, you know, you can give it the financial situation, your financial situation, and ask it to forecast it for you based on your current situation. So it's extremely helpful. You can use it for marketing. You can use it for human resource management, for programming, especially if you know about Python, which is extremely easy, and financial management. So these are some benefits of ChatGPT. Another platform that you can make videos easily, Pictory. You can give it text and it creates videos based on your text. Even, even it can add audio. So it's very interesting. So let me show you what I made this morning. So, look at this. I just gave it the text. I didn't do anything else. It selected all these images, all these videos itself. So, isn't it interesting? My text, 10 ways to relieve your stress. A stress management. So, as you see, 10 powerful techniques for immediate relief. So, that's another things that you can use. See? It found all the images itself. I didn't add anything. But definitely you have a capability to customize it, to change images, everything. So, another thing. Canva. You guys know Canva, right? So Canva, you know, if you use Canva, you can connect to different applications. So that's uh, very interesting. When you go to apps, you know, you can create text to message, text to image. Uh, you know, even uh, you can create speaking videos. So Canva is a very good platform. I highly recommend you to use Canva. Let me show you something funny that I made. Or we can do it right now. Let's do it together. So, here's a new design. That's fine. Sorry. Video. So this is one of the capabilities of Canva. So, you can select different, this one is describe the image you want and we'll create it for you. So let's see, create a bulldog having a hot dog. <laughs> Actually, the mid journey is a much more powerful application than this one, but let's see what, what this does for us. See? So, the point is, 